Okay, in this video, let's take a look at Nasa Hataoka, Japanese tour star, LPGA tour star, and great golf swing. I think with her golf swing, if she is really working hard to stay in posture, good things are going to happen. If she gets a little quicker up and out of it, then good, bad, bad things are going to happen. But super athletic move and super strong looking player, very strong legs, lower body. And this, this shot here, just a approach shot with a wedge, works the club up the plane beautifully on the way back. Love the setup, love the fundamentals. I love the posture grip. We'll see the grip a little bit more from a, another angle here, but club works up the plane beautifully. Gets the club up on a good angle. There's sort of the modern look for a lot of players. Left arm lower along the shoulders, certainly with the irons. Driver gets a little longer, but certainly with the irons in this position here. And sort of that down move we see from, from a lot of players where they start to change direction and move slightly downward. And that allows them to really put pressure downward into the legs, into the ground to create force and stability. And as she starts this down here, that down pressure allows her to go into the transition move without using the arms too much. And if she stays down, she's going to be okay. This shot here, because it's a ball above the feet lie, the plane looks a little bit different, but as she comes into it, as you can see here, she jumps up a little bit and she does jump on some shots. Now the one she jumps more sends that club out this way and that gets sort of the push hook combo where the you know hooks some, pushes some, but if she's staying down, it's it's a really nice day. Lots of great shots, very, very accurate iron player. But we'll see from some other swings here in a second that if she can stay in those posture angles, like you see here, like that, the longer she stays in those angles, the better. And for any of you that come up and out of it, I'm sure you find the same thing. The more up and out of it you get, you get shots going both directions. You get them going this way. You can also get the face open and going the other way. Here we have a longer shot, sort of an eight iron looking shot into the green. And if we look at the movement in transition here, same great setup, same backswing up the plane, hinging it up there quickly. Left arm just along the shoulder plane, so right along the line of the shoulders there. And then the downward move, you see a little rest reference point there, that down, that sitting and getting lower to create the power that allows the arms to stay up there longer. She doesn't have to pull on the arms. You can let the arms just sort of stay up here while she sits down and then the arms come down naturally. She's not pulling on the arms and now really athletic. Really look at the angles. Super athletic at this point. And like I said, in her case, the longer she stays down, the better if she starts to raise up drastically. She ends up with the Tiger Woods problem of a few, year, few years ago where he was missing it right and left because of coming up out of it too early. Here, she's pretty darn close to the plane with that golf club back to address, or where she was at address, rather, at the impact point, and that allows her to hit more and more accurate shots. If she raises up too much and that shaft plane gets way up out, for any of you that come way out of the shot, if you're sort of baffled as to why you're missing it right and left that's probably the reason you're getting out of that posture and that changes the plane into impact and it makes it very hard to control the club face i love these over the camera views where you can really see the body motion in transition you can see that plane as well and the takeaway there's that original shaft plane and the posture line and there's that club up on a beautiful angle halfway back see it on a good plane there And then using those strong legs to sit down, become athletic, and get the power from the ground. Love that transition move. And from this angle, very interesting. We can kind of a, sort of a quarter over the camera angle here. But we can see this, this grip. And you can see the back of that left hand sort of up to the sky. And for a lot of you, you have a weak grip. We don't like it. This is a stronger grip, meaning the hands are more over to the right. Love that position. Turning on the way back, shoulders and arms and club working away together. Club up on a good plane. And there's a classical tour player transition move where lower body's working out of the way just as the club is completing to the top and sitting down. 
That is using the legs properly. She looks very strong. And so as she's coming through, the arms and club are getting a free ride all the way through. And this one here, you can see very calm with the legs um, in terms of jumping upward. And that will always lead to better ball striking for her and better directional control. Lastly, looking at the driver here, and driver swings a little different for her. Certainly she gets the club up on a pretty nice plane as well going back. But she does get the face more open than a lot of players do. So even though her grip is stronger, she tends to get a cupping motion in the wrists here. And at the top, we can also see a little more of a curve here in the wrist versus that flat or bowed position we see from a lot of other players. And even as she starts it down, even though she's in the ground and using her legs well, which she certainly is, great width, great left arm extension you can see there. As she comes down into this area here, the face, or the club, the back of the left hand rather, is straight up to the sky. So very open looking position. And that creates a club face that's pointed also a little more upward and open than it is down like some players. So that will require that she rolls it down to square it off at the bottom, which she certainly does. You can see that club face wrapping over there on the way through. Just a little tougher to time out than the way other players tend to do it. And I have a feeling that if she does have trouble with her career of getting shots moving both directions, then she can work on getting the club face a little squarer, which will require less manipulation coming through the impact area. But even this one here, not a big raise up, a little bit, certainly. Great release. But with these types of swings where the club face is that open coming down, or the left hand is that skyward, pointed up that way, that's a little dangerous uh, looking in terms of controlling the club face. With this shot here, a good example of if she gets up and out of the shot too quickly, if she's jumping, then she will get the club inside out and the club face closing too rapidly. And that will curve. There's a one arm finish, meaning probably not the greatest shot. And that ball really curving off to the left. And so, like I said, when, anytime you have to close the face that much on the way down, it can be a trouble. This one here, once again, a little more cupped looking at the top there. You can see a little more curve there. And we know it's more open at this point than a lot of other players. I think if she works on getting it more square halfway down, she will find it much easier to control that golf ball over the long haul. Okay, that's gonna wrap it up for this video. If it's your first time to the channel, please hit that subscribe button. Like the video down below if you liked it. Thanks so much for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.